Hello church, so good to see you on this wonderful day. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I pray this will bring some encouragement to you today. My name is Jenny, and my family and I are part of the Central Campus and the East Region, Audacious, and I'm also part of the prayer team. Our key verse for today is Hebrews 11 verse 1, which should be familiar to you, but it's now faith, is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see. Over the past year, it's been an absolute joy and privilege to be part of a church that prays, asks, believes, and stands for breakthrough together and rejoices in it together as well. There have been so many recent stories of people getting jobs, myself included, provision for vehicles that needed replacing, myself included, successful operations, healing and recovery, people coming to salvation. I praise God for all he's done and all he's doing amongst and within us. If you're new to church and prayer or all this has passed you by, check out the website and find out different ways you can get involved and come and try and try it and see that God is good. I've been a Christian for most of my life and throughout I can tell you stories of God doing the miraculous. When I was really young, um, a lump appeared on my wrist and um, my dad prayed for it and I was going to have an operation. My dad prayed for it one night and the next day it had disappeared and that was my first um, taster of what God could do. As we grew up, time and again, we saw God provide finance when it was needed. Um, very much, even last minute, but someone would turn up with an envelope going, oh, I think God told me to give you this, and I've been trying to find you just at the very time. We're at the checkout, not knowing if we've got enough money to cover the bills at the time. Um, as um, I've got older, God has protected us in health and in dangerous situations and has brought me and Stephen through one situation after another as we have turned and trusted in him. Time and again, he has proved the promise of Psalm 23 that surely goodness and love will follow me all of the days of my life. Whilst I completely believe that God wants to do and is absolutely capable of doing wonderful things in your life and he can do the impossible in an instant, I also wanted to share another side of my faith story, which is the consistent, reliable, wonderful privilege of finding and trusting in him every day, which I believe is what it's all really about. A couple of weeks ago, I was studying church on Sunday, feeling pretty overwhelmed and stretched between work, family and friends, tired and wondering if I had the energy to keep going where I believe God had put me. I knew that he'd put me there, but it was definitely not easy going at the time. Within the, wor within the worship time there was just a moment and a verse clearly popped into my head which was whether you turn to the right or to the left you will hear a voice behind you saying this is the way walk in it. At the time I couldn't exactly remember where it was in the bible but felt God had spoken and thought I'll have that. I've taken it as encouragement and I should carry on and he would be with me one step at a time. Two days later after a very manic Monday I was absolutely blessed when the following came up as part of my Tuesday morning daily reading. It was doing a Bible in a year, I was a little bit behind, but um, this day it was Isaiah 30. Verse 21 says, right behind you a voice will say, this is the way you should go, whether to the right or to the left. That very verse that God had spoken to me in the service two days earlier. First of all, thank you to my one year Bible that I found out where the verse was and secondly, what an encouragement that what had been spoken was confirmed completely independently in black and white in my daily reading that week. So I got the message, it was time to take a deep breath, listen to the voice, make the right decisions and keep moving forward. I'm absolutely rejoicing when we hear of urgent prayers answered and we continue to ask and believe in big miracles, but this year where the challenges have come in almost daily, I've also learned more than ever that we also have a God whose faithfulness is great and his mercies are new every morning and in enough for every day. Every day he gives us enough energy, resource, wisdom and patience and guidance. If we stop and listen to the voice behind us saying, this is the way, walk in it. In the old Sunday school days, there was a song called One More Step Along the World I Go about traveling each day with God. It has a terrible but very catchy tune and the girl guides and schools seemed to like it back in the day. It came, But it came back to mind recently with the lines and it's from the old, I travel to the new, keep me travelling along with you. And it just reminded me that we've got that 
keeps travelling along with us. Today we often sing, even though I can't see it, you're moving, and even though I can't feel it, you're working. But So I just wanted to encourage you that even if you can't see it yet, he's working everything together for the good of those who love him. That's from Romans 28. So if today looks hard and challenging, just pause and listen. He promises all of you that he will be right behind you with a voice saying, this is the way, walk in it, keep travelling, listen to the voice behind you and sooner or later you'll be able to look back, see where you've come, where he's led you and tell you, tell of all that God has done. Have a great day church, he's more than enough for you today and let's be realistic, let's keep expecting miracles.